So, normally today's video would be of a get good video, although something else has taken my interest as of lately. Earlier this week, a post was created on the EA forms by the community manager, EA Shepard, who posted about how the recent franchise sale has caused an all-time high in terms of a surge of players, with BFN reaching a peak of almost 4,000 players, whilst Garden Warfare 2 absolutely thrived, with a peak of almost 10,000 players. Which honestly, for a game that's well over 8 years old, is really fucking good. The post talked about how they wanted to potentially get more eyes on the franchise, asking for screenshots of information regarding how much the game was being played and talked about from across the globe. Nothing was promised in terms of an actual update, or even any fixes, though as one would expect, quite a few people saw the message, and took it at face value, assuming said things to be true, without a second fucking thought. Now what do I think about the whole thing? Well, whilst updates would be nice, and maybe a few fixes into certain things, <coughs> it would be nice if a team does actually get formed to come back. I'm not confident in that they would be able to actually fix the game. <laughs> Shocking I know, and I may seem doubtful, but it is important to consider the following. Garden Warfare 2 is more than 8 years old at this point, is just getting server support, and was made by an entirely different team. So to bring a new team, onto a game this old, are they even going to know how to properly manage the game, or even give it any functional updates for that matter? In worst case scenario, it could actually just end up to the state that PVZ2 is in right now, where the game gets bare minimal support, and each update it chucks out is just a glorified half ass mess that at most will likely just keep the game active for maybe a few days before everyone leaves. Call me the fucking party pooper, but I'm not confident that a new team being assigned to Garden Warfare 2 will go well, if it even happens at all. Having new people mess about with old systems and content from almost a decade ago is bound to cause trouble, since this new team will likely not have training on how to even work Frosty, or even where to locate half the shit within in the game's internal structure. So what I'm saying is, while yes, this could be an extension to Garden Warfare 2's future, take it with a grain of salt, if a new team happens to be assigned, since if PVZ2 is anything to go about, it could end up extremely bad, and we'd be worse off.